All right. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the new pre-market analysis. Yesterday, I forgot to do the uh, daily recap. Oh, it is what it is. I have to accept that. Um, but my analysis, my kind of my forecast was playing out quite well. Where I said that I want to wait, or I want price to get below here. Um, we didn't reach back yet into that that discount pricing, but we got below all these lows, so that's that's a good sign. And we are below uh, previous daily lows. We are below previous weekly lows. So we can look for bias right now. Um, already got the previous daily low marked out. That's already taken out as well. So pretty straightforward for me on EU. We have this structure, we have this low. Um, we reached back into that just about into that premium pricing but because of the of the fact that we took that liquidity it is a valid play if I move or I feel more confident in marking out this is a valid high that lets me feel it low and then looking at okay where can we now need to trade from well we are below what lows we can look for buys but we also have a nice sell area over here could ideally take let's say take this one See how it took that low there, or it took those highs here that led to lows. Didn't take this one, so we get some equals there as well. But can you use this? Oh. That's the areas where we get the move from. Um, not that much liquidity internal. Could mark out this. Those weeks prior to New York open, um, that's our liquidity. Other than that, I don't see any any real liquidity now, especially on the four hour. So for today, what are we looking at? Well, first of all, we can zoom in. And we can see we have a high, low, lower high, low, low, lower high. And then again, new structures that stick on here. High, low, lower high are actually equal. So we got Asia highs being equals. And then we got Asia low being taken out as well. Sorry. So yeah, we get H lows being taken out. So we get previous weekly lows taken out. We get previous daily lows being taken out. We got previous or we got H low being taken out. So what can we look for? Well, first of all, we wait for Frankfurt to open, which is over here. I think it's over here. I hope my charts are still right. Yeah, because. We didn't change the winter time yet. So over there, we wait for there. We wait for early buyers. For now, I can't see any early buyers. Get the last high that led to this low. And then we have this high that led to this low. Now we have this high that led to this low. So. To get early buyers, well, we got like a minor one here, but this is the significant one. I want to see price take out that high. Take out that high. The bearish break somewhere, maybe like minor structure, bullish break, and we can look for a long trade. But that's what I'm looking at right now for EU. Um, thing is, this PA here to the left is so far back in time. I think it's, it was prior to this year. 2022. Ah. Yeah, it is in 2022. So, um, 
I don't even know if there are any areas. I don't even know if I can go back here and go to the one hour. Okay, so that's except for this one. It's all mitigated, but we can. It's like mitigated POIs, but we don't use. I have to remind myself that I'm using supplying the mon zones. We got this demand zone over here, and that's a one hour demand. Let's see how we had a low, a high, a lower low, then a higher high, then a low. So this is a liquidity sweep. And then we get the push to the upside. Do we have a one hour? Um, UI is in there as well. Just doing it like this because of the, because uh, it's so far back in time. I'll stretch this out as well. And then get out of the replay mode. And I'll check if we are still inside these areas so we can already see that we tap through and already tapped in to that one hour there. What was left? <laughs> one hour demand zone. You know, one hour demand zone. And let's go back into replay mode. And let's go on to the 15 minute. And there we have our answer, I think. No, it's all mitigated except for this one. So again, using this, that's the PY that is still valid. And we already went through that as well. So we just used the one hour demand zone as our area to trade from that sits below the insane high amount of liquidity. And that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at shorts from here and longs from this area, now waiting for an entry drill, and then we can long within our trading time. Now let's dive into DXY. What would that look like on DXY? Let's zoom out real quick. Let's clean this up. It's a nice and well. We're gonna use other time frame areas now. So for DXY, we got that bullish break. And what costs that bullish break? Well, that's this one. And got to keep in mind that for now, we are not in sight. If price gets there, we are not in sight a premium, if I'm correct. Yeah. So got to keep that in mind. Um, other than that, we got my SPY over here. And um, would actually say take this one. That one sits inside the discount area. And we're slowly marching towards this high, finally, which is what I was waiting for. So let's wait for that. Um, yeah, we are above this high as well. You can see that we start to form some nice structure. I think it's going to reach back into discount. It actually did. So, minor structure wise, or like four hour wise, we still have a. Uh, Low, high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low. Although this is now not really that relevant anymore as we are above uh, previous daily, uh, previous highs, above old highs, but it's good to mark that out. Why? Because just like we knew, we can continue to look for the longs, which is short to you, of course. From there, and we actually got a large one 
with this this wig that's the bottom here. But I will focus on this one right now. Where we can uh look the trait from. Yeah, 30 minutes, 15 minute wise, you got another one there. Which we actually could work out. But let's let's keep this one for now. Nice how I took that low. Then you need to move up. And yeah, as for now, we don't see any slowdowns really. We need to wait for a proper turnaround. Uh, we have to be highly aware of our high time from areas when using GXY. Therefore, we can mark out this one. Okay, so that's not been taken out yet. And not to mention this one up here. Um, yeah, and we're going with that for now. So I want to see that one being taken out. And then we can look for potential turnaround into this kind of pricing. Now, what does that mean for GU? Because that's still messy as day. First of all, first thing I see before I'm going to remove anything is this one. There we go. Then the second thing I'm going to do is remove all that. It's all noise. This is all noise. This one can go as well. Let's just clean it up completely. Seven AM. All right, there we go. And then you can see that we took out previous weekly lows. Previous weekly highs are still valid. Or still intact. Unmitigated, whatever you want to call it. Going to the daily. Previous daily lows. Taken out. Previous data highs are still intact. And yeah, and then we can go lower now and see what's going on over here. And remove that, and you just kind of be just like on EU. You can see we have a high, a low, lower high, lower low, lower high. The last time we reached into that was there. So just using that most recent structure, basically. We got areas we kind of look to short from. And I think on EU, we have an area above here as well. It's just not, not as clean as on GU, but. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, daily low, daily high, perfect, clean. So now if you want to get more clean, just make it black. Make it your chart, the trading style. And that's actually super clean. Now that we got marked out those previous weeklies, I actually say, okay, let's not use them and only use the daily. And then we have today's or yesterday's range actually where we can trade in. Then let's go lower. Okay, yeah, here. Well, we got Asia highs. No, not equals like you. So one slightly higher than the first high. But we got Asia high up there. And we got Asia low down here. Both being taken out. Uh, we're now inside a daily come on zone. 
packages. Nice. That's all you got. That's it. From there. Now, if I. There we go. So, with this indicator, you can choose how much you want to be want that to remove. So, if I do 90%, it has to fill 90% of the fill value you get before it removes. If you do 5%, we'll remove this one. There we go. And only the one that's completely unmitigated. So, we get this one right here right now. We got this one right here. And that's the one I was talking about. But this is how my tool or our tool can be a great addition to your analysis. Right. Save you a lot of time. You can actually choose to extend this as well. When you extend it, it's not something I like. I can't imagine that people do it like this. Of course, fit my chart. There we go. Perfect. So I actually marked it out wrong. Yeah. All right. Oh shit, now I'm completely removed it. Can I get it back? There we go. And this is how the analysis will be great addition to your own analysis. Same as that one over there. I didn't see it at all. I wouldn't see it. This one does. It's like a save, save me time because I don't need to like look very intricate. Okay, is this still valid? Did it come in? Did it come out? Did it tap in? No, I can just go here. Give what I want. Let's say I want one hour. Then I have to be on a lower time frame, of course. Be on a 30 minute. There we go. Now we can see all the one hour for value gaps. Then we can set rules like, okay, I want it only to be valid like this. And now it actually gives more and then clean it up. Stop extending. And there we go. These are all the one hour for value gaps. Well, I can set it to a minimum, of course. I'll set it to, I think it chooses the most recent couple ones. Anyway, yeah. So yeah, we well, all know that there's a nice and try to get inside there schematic. On the daily, of course, the daily fair so you get uh imbalance, my bad. It's the same. Well, I have to use the term imbalance now. So yeah, for GU, pretty much same stories in EU. Look for longs, look for shorts, longs from here. Waiting for an entry drill in shorts following that structure. Let's go down lower. It's a five minute. Are there any early buyers yet? Uh, so actually, I would say this is the last height of it to that low. This is the last height of it to that low. This is the last height of it to that low. Could say break above here. Could be a form of early buyers. And then, of course, get the intro drill. Up, down, somewhat with confirmation, long. All right, that's it. Uh, good luck in the market. Good luck today. I'm still I'm so glad to be back. I love it. Um, EU, already explained it to you as well. So let's just wait. We still got an hour and we'll catch you guys later. Peace out.